Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars. The Earth Day video was not intended to be two-parter, but uh, I found a related story, and this is going to be part two. Advocates fan out in the global sh show of support for science. Now, these are leftists. So what does that tell you about science? Our science has been polluted by ideology. And it's gone way to the left. The world saw brain power take a different form Saturday. And this is from the American Broadcasters of Communism. From Washington Mon Monument to Germany's Brandenburg Gate and even Greenland, scientists, students, and research advocates rallied on an often soggy Earth Day conveying global message about so so scientific freedom without political interference. In other words, there's a, something called Lysenkoism, the need for adequate spending for future breakthroughs and just general value of scientific pursuits. Uh, Lysenkoism was where Stalin decided what was science and what wasn't. They came in numbers uh, that were mammoth, if not quite astronomical. Gee, I didn't see anybody doing this. We didn't choose to be in this battle, but it's come to the point where we have to fight. The stakes were too great, said Pennsylvania State University climate science, not case, I mean scientist, Michael Mann, who regularly clashes with politicians. President Donald Trump, in an Earth Day statement, Hours after the marches kicked off, said that rigorous science depends on ideology, not on ideology, but on the spirit of honest inquiry and robust detail. Correct. Thank you, Donald. Dennis Hayes, who organized the Earth Day's first Earth Day 47 years ago, so the crowd he saw from the speaker's platform down the street from the White House was energized and magical in a rare way, similar to what he saw on his first Earth Day for this kind of weather. This was an amazing crowd. You're not out there today unless you really care. This is not a walk in the park event, he said of the event in the park. Man said that like other scientists, he would be able rather be in his lab in the field of teaching students but driving his advocacy are officials who deny his research shows that global rising global temperatures. When he went on stage, he got the biggest applause for his simple opening, I am a climate scientist. No, you're a hardcore leftist. Uh, he wants to dismantle our economy. And Los Angeles, Danny Lesserman, 26-year-old director of a digital media, media for the country's Democratic Party said, We used to look up to intelligence and aspire to learn more and do more than intellectual curiosity. And we're going, and we've gone from a society where our officials and representatives belittle science and they be little intelligence and we really need a cultural change uh mr lesserman sir they have a right to challenge the scientists especially when we have false data like from uh, noah about the uh, temperature miles you know they put up they put their temperature gauges in high temperature areas, higher temperature areas, like in cities, instead of putting them out in the country. They have the heat island effect, which is quite real, and that's where they put the temperature gauges lots of times. I realize that more than 600 cities put scientists generally shy away from advocacy and whose work depend on 
objective experimentation into a more public position. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh, if they were part of this and are not being objective, these are leftists. Scientists say said that they were anxious about political and public rejection of established science, such as global warming and the safety of vaccine immunizations. Scientists find it appalling that evidence has been crowded out by ideological assertions. In other words, uh, right ping, right wing people express their views. So <laughs> says Rush Holt, a former uh, fi communist, I mean physicist and Democratic congressman who runs the American Association for the Advancement of Science. It's not just about Donald Trump, but there's also no question that marchers are saying when shoe fits. Despite saying the march was not partisan, Holt acknowledged that it was only dreamed up in the woman, woman's March in Washington day after Trump's January 20 inauguration. But the rallies were also about what science does for the world. Like uh, swindle people into believing that there's such a thing as unguided evolution. That That is something I reject completely. And it goes on and on. I think point's been made. Uh, today's science has become almost entirely, it's a political agenda in many of the most cases. And this is what I can't stand. It's a leftist political agenda. And here we have the scientists rallying with these uh, leftist marchers. Well, I'm all for the environment. That's not the point. These people aren't environmental advocates, despite what they say. They are leftists. They want to destroy capitalism and institute a Marxist state. Now, if you had a global Marxist state, uh, you would have mass starvation on... Um, a scale never seen before. Not that the Earth can't produce food, but communism and socialism don't produce uh, food and shelter and whatnot the way they really need to be produced. Capitalism does. So there you have it. Left us Leftist pinko commies are uh, moving in. And leftist pinko commies are marching right along our uh, scientists. And our scientists have to know that these are leftist pinko commies for the most part, which means the scientists are of the same ideological background. Not all of them, of course, but certainly the ones that marched with them. Not every science, uh, scientist is a leftist. You know, I can go out in the field and study nature and try to bring an occasional video or... You know, I study the lives of insects and things. And it does not fit evolution. Evolution does not fit. I ain't really going a little long, so I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.